So one of those things that happens occasionally when you're out and about with a service dog, you um, encounter a dog that starts barking at your service dog. Good morning, Stretch. Oh, good morning, Bonesy. You are so cute. Good, good morning. morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Yay, it's Monday. We've said it before, we'll say it again. We love Mondays. Yep, and we just got a bunch of orders packed up for you guys. I'm gonna run to the post office. Welcome to our day. wildflowers um, but I got a call from my sister while I was out there so I booked it out of those wildflowers and came back in the house maybe I will cut some wildflowers tomorrow but as you could see quite a few were growing so that's fun I am drying out or wait did I already show you guys I'm drying out my zinnias that died um, so that I can have the seeds to plant next year but there are more out there so I want to get some of those and bring them in. They're so pretty. Um, we are getting ready to run. Ollie, are we gonna get dressed and go get in the car? We're getting ready to run to Walmart and run some errands. Um, I just took headache medicine because it's the late afternoon and it's time for a headache. Cue the headache. <laughs> Cue the headache. Enter from left stage, so it's not it's not bad right now, so hopefully my medicine will kick in and we can run our errands. I realized when I got my purse ready, I have not left the house in quite a while, so I'm excited to get out. I am excited, I'm thinking, hey babe. Yeah? I didn't tell you this. Okay. But I'm thinking maybe tomorrow, could we go to the Habitat for Humanity Restore? Sure, is it open tomorrow? Yeah, it's not open today. I was a little bummed out, but okay. tomorrow. Yeah, cool. Let's go tomorrow. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, that would be cool. But before we leave, you guys have to see this. Remember how we washed this side porch yesterday? Here is the aftermath. Now, the cement is obviously still stained, but it's clean. And this welcome mat that I bought last year, it was so, like spider webby and nasty and I sprayed this thing and washed it all down it's like sparkling brand new well maybe not brand new maybe I missed a little bit right there but at least it's a lot better there was paint on the um, cement from previous um, people who lived here and almost all of the paint came off there was white paint there was kids paint um, anyway so and then here's the railing you know we got most of the paint off we're ready to repaint it paint it white and um yeah so i'm really excited hi bonesy our hope is that the set i ordered from walmart will be a couch and two chairs and then a coffee table and then hopefully we can find an outdoor rug to go here but again, we will see what I actually get from my Walmart order because there was some ambiguity in the listing, the online listing. Didn't make a whole lot of sense, but I thought it's worth a try. If it's not something that works, it can be returned. So we'll see what happens. But I'm really excited about our side porch again. I mean, we didn't do anything to it. We just put um, the couch, and the chairs out here last year, the outdoor couch, and it was so pleasant. So we're hoping to get some lights back up around and yeah, just make it a nice little, make it a nice little hangout spot. <laughs> you know that thing where when you have cystic fibrosis, yo, are salty and you need salt. So, Mary's having a little salt break before we go into Walmart. I've been keeping this bag of chips in the glove box for quite a while. 
And so just now I was like, I think I need to eat something, some salt. And I was like, oh yeah, I have a bag of chips. Perfect. All right, we'll see what we find. We have a few things we need. Okay, so oh. tell, tell us what's going what? on here. What? I remember growing <laughs> up. Oh, I bet you they were only 10 cents when I was growing up. No way. I bet. I remember 35 cents. Oh yeah, that sounds familiar. 10 cents, I that would be a cheap soda. Now. 50 cents for a can of grape soda. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. So you always did this when you came to Walmart, or not I always, always, just, but we have it's a them. memory. I have not gotten a vending machine thing for a long time. Oh, oh no. Remember that when it rejects your quarter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll do I'm that sure for you. <laughs> Lovely germs. Oh no, it's not a real quarter. You know the key, you do it like. Oh, oh no, it went under. <laughs> no way. It went under. Oh, it's right go? there. Okay. Oh, this is so magical. Do you, do you want this lemon head? Free lemon head? <laughs> this is so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Oh. Come on. Got it. You did it. I had to use the left hand palm. Oh, you okay, gotta press that. Bend. <gasps> Bend. Oh, Ta -da! remember that sound? Oh, it's so magical. I've never had this kind of grape soda. Well, it's made here in Do town. Do you think that this is um real soda or is this like salsa? No, that's soda. Okay. Yeah. Clean it off a little. Alright. That sound. Ooh. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. We are just taking a walk down memory lane as we walk through all the school supplies. When we walked in Walmart, it's like school supplies everywhere. And uh, I like it it started started <laughs> apparently we're in the way. It started bringing back those memories of like the summer is ending and you have to get your binders and your notebook paper and your folders for school. And then I remembered that feeling of like first day of school and you've got your new stuff and you're kind of excited about being there but then you realize it's like traumatizing. Really? No, well, you just know it's just that depressing reality that you're going to be there all year long <laughs> until next summer. I guess until Christmas. No, school, for those of you going back to school, you're probably excited. You're going to see your friends or whatever. I'm, oh. ju I'm just glad I don't do that anymore. <laughs> pretty scissors. You need pretty scissors? Um, pretty scissors for For those school? who don't know, I was homeschooled for multiple different reasons, but one reason was no, the, the germ banner, factor, just being exposed. We're gonna be moving now. I think I might need a pair of those scissors. Okay. Um, just being exposed to the inevitable germs at school just was kind of a risk that my parents chose not to expose my sister and I to. Um, we took we we took classes and stuff, but it was kind of in a more um, it was like once a week instead of every single day and that sort of thing. So. Anyway, um, I don't have all of those back to school kind of memories. Did you ever use book covers? Yes. Oh my goodness, I remember that. I like, I remember picking out school supplies and stuff, but it wasn't that same like feeling of like I'm leaving, I'm going to school, like yeah, it's it was like a different you're starting feeling. starting the school year. Yeah. yeah. I also used to work in a school supply store, so all of this brings back other sorts of memories. I, is it on? We're new at this. <laughs> I just found clearance, so I found my birthday decorations. So we're Peter going. doesn't even have to think about it. Watermelon Look at theme. that. Watermelon theme birthday. And clearance. Perfect. Yes. Win. So Win. Excites. Birthday week. <laughs> Can you say that again? <laughs> what happens when the camera goes off? Well, number one. Ooh, nice scissors. Where are those? <laughs> Number two, this soda is giving me life. <laughs> <laughs> Quote of the day. So one of those things that happens occasionally 
when you're out and about with a service dog, you um, encounter a dog that starts barking at your service dog. Ollie, um, it has, it's great. Like, he's just like, uh, what's going on? Why is this dog barking at me? So, that happened. I guess it's just a reminder that, like, there's a reason there's, like, a rule that pets don't come into stores and leave working dogs. Um, sometimes shopping and there's a barking dog, I guess. Real life. Real life. Do you see the sunshine coming through? That's cause the sun came out. The sun will come out today. Okay, we just got back from Walmart and Peter has a meeting. So I'm eating a peanut butter and jelly beforehand. Do what you gotta do. I'll see you guys later. And my headache never got too bad. I think the meds helped. I think the grape soda helped. And I just had fun being out. Um, like I said, I haven't been out in a while, so it was very fun. I'm feeling tired, so now I'm going to rest. I'm going to call my mom back, and normal evening for us. Random point. I am forcing myself to eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich because my blood sugar has just dropped. It's been dropping like once or twice a day recently, and I'm not really sure why. Um, it doesn't have to do with when I transitioned my feeds to the nighttime feeds. It doesn't have to do with that because I transitioned quite a while ago and my blood sugar has only been dropping in about the last week or two weeks and um I don't know it doesn't have to do with what I eat in the mornings because I've been switching it up and it doesn't have to do with when I ate last um so there's no rhyme or reason I've gone through seasons in the last couple years for months where, where I'll have my blood sugar dropping every single day no matter what and then I'll go months, the last couple of months, I've been having less lows. So it doesn't, it doesn't correlate to anything. I think it's just a matter of what's going on in my body that day. Um, so anyway, I'm going to eat this and um, it'll bring up my blood sugar. No, I heard a crash. And so I ran outside. I was so afraid that you were, you were like coming home. Oh. Peter just got home. But right before he got home, I heard this big loud crash outside. Like that time we heard an accident right outside our house. So I ran outside and I didn't see anything. Yeah. Anything. And so I was like, okay, I guess, what was that? I didn't know if somebody slammed their door. So then I got, got in and I texted Peter, are you okay? And he was like, yeah, I'm home. So he had just pulled in. Yeah. So then so you came in and you said you heard it. Yeah, well, so I didn't hear it. I was on my way home and right down the street in like this kind of like a little park median area that has like a park and stuff. Oh. Uh, right down the street, someone went like just a single car. I don't know what the, but there's all, there were already like several people there. Crashed hopping. into what? I think like a stone something. Yeah. But the people were okay? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, I heard that from here. I think it was kind of a young kid, maybe. But, I don't know. It happens. Yeah. That's sad. Okay. Well, welcome home. Thank you. He literally just walked yeah. in the door. Hang on. Do you want some tater tots? I think I'll pass, but thank you. Really? I thought you'd want some. Okay, no, I'll, I'll no, some No, you tater don't tots. have to. I just thought you might be in the mood for like a hot thing since you only eat a peanut butter jelly. Maybe. I eat a peanut Actually, butter jelly too. I think it'll probably sound good once we sit down. Okay, let's go sit down. <coughs> <coughs> the cost of coming upstairs. <coughs> <coughs> but we are going to get ready for bed. So, as always, as always we, will we will see, see you all. tomorrow. Good, good night. night. <coughs> Solid boy. Good night to the people. <coughs> Say goodnight.